Alright, ready? Alright, oh, it's a heavy gun. Say hi. Okay, so I can't hold him any longer, he's too heavy. So this is a new puppy for me. I've just had him a couple days. So um, what do you do on the first day you're with a dog? Now I'm not saying a puppy. On the first day with any dog, you've been introduced to him or he's the neighbor's dog, he's having trouble or it's a dog you got from the Humane Society because nobody could, nobody could manage him. So whatever kind of dog it is, what do you do? How do you start? So that's what this video is going to be about. First thing you got to have is a rope. You know, without a rope, I could not train a dog. I'd have to, I'd have to lay awake for nights to try to figure out how to do that. It wouldn't be worth it to me. A rope is such a simple thing. You need a rope. And the next thing you do with your puppy is start to develop a relationship with it. If it's a neighbor's dog and you're going to train it, if it's a brand new dog that you got from somebody else and you're going to provide, give it a new home, or it's a little puppy like this, first thing you got to do is develop a relationship with it. Everybody wants to have a dog that's their pal. It's just like when we were growing up, we loved stories about Rin Tin Tin and Big Red and Snow Dog of the nor North, etc., etc. We have this thing in our head about our pal, the dog. We want to duck hunt with him, we want to go on walks with him, we want to jog with him, we want to sit in front of the fire with him, which means we want to have a rela relationship with him. So that's sort of what this is about. And the first thing you have to do is develop a relationship. How do you do that? Everybody wants it, but they don't know how to, how to get it. So that's what this is about. So to have a relationship, you have to teach a dog to focus on you so you can start to interact with them. If you have a dog and he's focused on every place else but you, it's hard to, to work with them, to teach them things. So how do you develop focus on you? Well, <clears throat> some people use food. They'll even take food and put it in their mouth so it's kind of sticking out of their mouth and then the dog will look at them because there's food there. Well, that, that's good. It, 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 it works because a lot of people do it. But the way I like to do it is to create some excitement and have that, that excitement lead into some commands like watch me and sit and fetch and some other things. So what do you, how do you do that? Um, to start with, some dogs are attracted by the squeakiness of a squeaky toy like this. See, automatically. So once you can get that kind of attraction, you get it in a situation where the puppy will look at you, and then that's the beginning. Now, a lot of people think, oh, I'm just trying to make this puppy happy. No, it's nothing about happiness. It's, it's about focus. Watch me. You see how I'm putting this ball behind my head. He lost it. Now, sit. Sit, sit, that a boy. I'm getting this focus because I have the ball and the squeakiness. And so it's not uh, where the puppy is uh, just automatically focused on me. I'm getting him to focus on me. <clears throat> and in the process, you can use something else, maybe the puppy will react, or the other dog, or the neighbor's dog, or the shelter dog, 
you can get them to react on something besides a noise and where you become the noise, like they, 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 good, that's it, that's it, good. Now I've worked a little bit with this puppy as far as teaching him to sit, but now I've got him where he is looking at me. And that's what I'm trying to do is develop a puppy, a dog, that will look at me. So I have, a, I have a rope so they can't just run off. And I have a device that I can use to excite them and I can bring that excitement up to me. And that's the beginning stages of creating focus on me, not focus on something else. I have to be the center of attraction and eventually this puppy is gonna want to look at me all the time because he's gonna know that I have some things he wants and he can get them, but he's gonna get them from me. So in the end, what we wanna do is begin to get a relationship with the dog. <coughs> and to do that, we have to create focus on us so we can now start to relate to the dog. So that's step one in getting a, a, a sheep dog or a retriever or a protection dog, any kind of dog that you want starts with creating focus on you. What are you doing there, mister? voice of one crying in the wilderness. Prepare the way of the Lord. Make straight in the desert a highway for our Lord. Every valley shall be exalted and every mountain and hill brought low. The crooked places shall be made straight and the rough places smooth. The glory of the Lord shall be revealed and all flesh shall see it together. For the mouth of the Lord has spoken. Thank you.